Hello students, let us continue with exercise 8.1 of chapter 8 quadrilaterals. We will take a look at the 8th question wherein it is given that quadrilateral ABCD is a rectangle and diagonal AC bisects angle A and angle C which means that angle 1 and 2 are equal over here and angle 3 and 4 are equal. I have marked these angles as 1, 2, 3 and 4 for my convenience because every time it you know when you have too many angles it kind of gets confusing so it is a good practice to just mark your angles as 1, 2, 3 and 4 and later on you can give reference to the entire angle what is uh, needed to be proved. So now what is required is that we need to prove that ABCD is a square that is we need to prove that AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to AD and also we need to prove that diagonal BD bisects angle B and D. So this part we will follow it later. Let's check from the given data what can be proved. So first of all we uh, showed that 1 and 2 are equal and 3 and 4 are equal. Also since ABCD is a rectangle I have the opposite sides equal. So AB is going to be equal to DC and AD is going to be equal to BC. So now since we need to prove that AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to AD, let us take into consideration triangles using the base as AC. So I am going to take my triangle ABC and prove the two sides equal. Let us see how we have done this in the previous question also. So we will go a little quick with the sum, not very quick so that you do not understand and make sure that you grasp it. Okay? So proof, first of all let me divide the page or divide my board. Angle 1 is equal to angle 2 because AC bisects angle A and I will mark this as 1. Similarly I have 3 is equal to 4. Why? Because we have AC bisecting angle C. This is given. Correct? But I have AB parallel to DC because they are the opposite sides of a rectangle for transfer and we have transversal AC. So what can I say? That angle 2 is equal to angle 4 through the alternate angle theorem. So let us write this down. But AB is parallel to BC and DC, I will say opposite sides of rectangle and AC is my transversal. So what do I get? that angle 2 is equal to angle 4. You see a Z forming here, right? Therefore, angle 2 is equal to angle 4. I will mark this as 3. Uh, first of all, let us write the reason. Alternate angle theorem. And let us mark this as 3. So, what do we get? From, two, uh, from 1 and 3, from 1 and 3 I get that 1 is equal to 4. I will say from 1 and 3. Similarly from 2 and 3 what do I get? See we have 4 at both the sides equal that are same, equal to the same thing or equal to each other. So I get 3 is equal to 2. from 2 and 3. But if you notice 1 and 4, 1 and 4 are the base angles for my isosceles triangle ADC. Therefore, I will have the opposite sides equal that is DC is going to be equal to AD, correct? So, I will say in triangle ADC, I have 1 is equal to 4, I will say from, let us mark this as 4 and this as 5, I will say from 4, correct? Therefore, DC is equal to AD and I will say isosceles triangle theorem. 
let us mark this as 6. Similarly, for my triangle ABC, I have 3 is equal to 2. That means the base angles are equal, uh, the base angles are equal, therefore the opposite sides are also going to be equal. So, in triangle ABC, I have 3 is equal to, angle 3 is equal to angle 2 and I will say from 5. Therefore, so opposite uh, 3, I have AB and opposite 2, I have BC and I will say isosceles triangle theorem. Let us mark this as 7. But if you notice, I have AB is equal to DC because they are the opposite sides of the rectangles. They are the lengths of the rectangle and here we have the breadth of the rectangle. That is AB and DC comprise of the length and AD and BC comprise of the breadth of my rectangle. So, let us take any of the two uh, uh, equal sides. I am going to take AB and DC. So, I will say, but AB is equal to DC, I will say opposite sides of rectangle and I am going to mark this as 8. So, if you observe equations 6, 7 and 8, you will see that AB AB is equal to BC, correct? But BC is equal to, uh, sorry, AB is equal to BC and AB is also equal to DC. So, AB, BC and DC are equal, but DC is also equal to AD here. Therefore, I have A is AB is equal to BC is equal to DC is equal to AD, correct? Therefore, I have AB is equal to BC is equal to DC is equal to AD. But we need AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to AD. So, you can either modify this as DC or you can either modify your DC as CD over here. So, I will make the changes here because CD and DC are the same thing if you notice from your diagram. So, my first part is proof. Therefore, quadrilateral ABCD or rectangle ABCD is a square. And first of all, I will mention my reason here from 6, 7 and 8. Therefore, quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a square. Usually to prove a uh, quadrilateral is a square, we need to prove that it is a parallelogram, all the sides are equal as well as each angle is 90 degrees. But it is given that quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a rectangle. So, uh, first of all, let us write down to prove a square, what do we need to prove? Three things. The first thing is, we need to pr prove that it is a parallelogram. Then you need to prove that all sides are equal and you need to prove that each angle is equal to 90 degrees. But we have been given that quadrilateral ABCD is a rectangle. So, coming back to our definition of rectangle, we know that it is a parallelogram and one angle is 90 degrees or all angles are 90 degrees. So, we needed to prove only this part that all the sides are equal which is why we have not really gone into a lot of detail and proved the other two parts because when you say that some quadrilateral is a rectangle, points number 1 and 3 are applicable by default, right. So, now this was just for explanation, so I will erase this part so that you do not get confused. Now, we need to prove that diagonal BD, uh, diagonal BD bisects angle B and D. So, if I draw my quadrilateral over here, A, B, C, D, why I am drawing it separately? is because now I do not want to get confused with my diagonal AC, we are going to only refer to my diagonal BC. Also, we have just proved that these sides are equal because ABCD, quadrilateral ABCD is a square. So, now if you notice that these for triangle ABD, I have these two sides equal, therefore these two angles will be equal, correct? And also I have BC and CD equal for my triangle DBC. That means these two triangles are equal. Let us mark these angles as 5, 6, 7, 8. So, what do we get? That 5 is equal to 6 and 7 is equal to 8. But if you notice AB and DC are parallel to each other because quadrilateral ABCD is a square. Square is a parallelogram, therefore obviously the opposite sides are going to be parallel. So, now these two lines are parallel and BD is my transversal. Therefore, 6 is equal to 8. 
So what do we get? We have that 5 is equal to 6 and 6 is equal to 8 which implies 5 is equal to 8 that means angle B is getting bisected by uh, the diagonal BD. Similarly, we had what? 5 is equal to 6, correct? And 6 is equal to 8, but 8 is equal to 7. So, what do we have? 6 is equal to 7. That means angle B is also getting bisected by my diagonal BD. Now, let us go ahead and prove this. So, I will say my second part. I have in triangle. So, uh, just draw this uh, diagram as well. Although you will have this diagram, just draw this for explanation purpose, okay? And mark the angles. If you want, you can draw it there itself and mark the angles 5, 6, 7 and 8. I suggest you do this separately because this will give you more clarity as well as avoid a lot of confusion. So, I will say in triangle ABD, I have AD, AD is equal to AB. Let us mark this as 9 and I will say from 9. Therefore, what do I have? AD is equal to AB, therefore angle 6 is equal to angle 5 because the, uh, the uh, according to the isosceles triangle theorem. Therefore, angle 6 is equal to angle 5, AD and AB and I will mark this as 10. Also, let us just write the reason isosceles triangle theorem. I will mark this as 10. Also, in triangle, so the other triangle now, BDC, I have what? BC is equal to CD. Again, I will say from 9. And I will mark this as statement 11. Again, through isosceles triangle theorem, uh, through isosceles triangle theorem, what will I have? Angle eight is equal to angle seven. Let's mark this as eleven. But what do we have? But AB is parallel to DC and BD is my transversal. Therefore, what do I have? That angle 6 is equal to angle 8 by alternate angle theorem. Let us mark this as 12. So, if you notice from 10 and 12, you get 5 is equal to 8. Therefore, 5 is equal to 8 from 10 and 12, let us mark this as 13. And also, if you take a look at 11 and 12, what do you get? 6 is equal to 7. So, 6 is equal to 7 or let us, we will mark it as big Roman number 1 from 11 and 12. Let us mark this entire thing as Roman number 1 because it is giving you your final answer. Now, since 5 is equal to 8 and 6 is equal to 7, we can say that BD is bisecting my angles D and B. Therefore, diagonal BD bisects angle B and D from big Roman number 1. So, this uh, solves our question number 8 of exercise 8.1. Let us take a look at the remaining questions in the next videos. Thank you. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So, subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.